What's up YouTube, Asian Persuasion here, and today I have for you a new deck profile. Like I said in my last video, you guys uh, thumbs up the video enough, I was going to go ahead and jump into my 2019 format of, you guys know it best, as Laval's. Rekindling went to 3 off of the July Forbidden uh, Limited ban list, so it is at 3 currently. Unfortunately, it's not like back in the day where you could just not master rule 4 and have all your zones down there don't have to have arrows and make quasars super easy but I definitely found a different way to do it uh, unfortunately it takes a lot more cards so this is more of a fun deck I would say uh, you can take this to locals regionals um, yeah you might do some success with it at a big event uh, if you guys would like to try uh, you guys can help me improve this deck this is just my initial base help me guys with uh, comments down below let me know what you guys think of suggestions I can do with it because I definitely love Laval so much. I haven't played this since Dragon Ruler format. Um, and I topped with it last time I played with it. So this is one of my favorite decks of all time. Just because I love making Synchro Monsters. So without further ado, make sure before you guys watch this video to go check out my link down below. I'm a TCG player affiliate. Please go check it out below and buy some stuff if you guys use that link. It would greatly uh, support my channel. Help me keep making content for you guys. And I'm going to keep busting out deck profiles and duels and all kinds of such things for you guys like that and uh, product openings so yeah without further ado we are going to start with the Laval deck profile and at this video end of this video I will do combo tutorials so you guys can kind of figure out how this deck works so that way you're just not getting a deck list you're actually getting some plays and then you guys can help me with plays as well because I'm still learning links with uh, synchros it's very hard to make synchros in the link era but I'm going to try my best because rekindling is at 3 and rekindling is bay. Alright guys, without further ado, once again, Laval's. Alright, so this guy's Laval, Magna, Cannoneer. This guy basically ups to twice return. Uh, you can send a fire from your hand to the graveyard and inflict uh, 500 damage to your opponent. So this kind of helps you in time. So if people think that you can't win in your main phase, jokes on them, Laval's are still fire uh, archetype. So you can still burn your opponent in time for a free win. Um, next card... We have the one Lakeside Lady. This is the one that has three or more names in your uh, graveyard you, with different names. Uh, you can banish this card and one other Laval monster from your graveyard to target one set card your opponent controls and destroy it. So this can be a monster or whatever, but we're just using this for utility. We're not really using it for pop effect unless it comes up, but generally we're just there. So you can have a level 3 tuner, because it is a level 3 tuner, and basically that's all it's there for. That's why I only play one. It's not really a pure Laval deck like you would used to run back in the day where I probably played two, uh, one more Lakeside Lady and Laval uh, Cannons. But we don't play Cannon because we're not based on ma non-Master Rule 4 rules. So we have to make arrows before we can Synchro Summon or we just have one Synchro Summon, which is kind of stupid. But next card up is the best Laval. This is Handmaiden, guys. The Laval Volcano Handmaiden. So basically what this card effect says, it's a level 1 tuner. Um, it also gets sent to the graveyard. When you have a other Laval monster in your graveyard besides this one, you can send another Laval card monster from your deck to the graveyard. So this helps you basically just dump more of them. So that's basically the Laval count up right here. It's really low, I know. Uh, but with Laval's, like... It's hard to synchro, like I said, and what this deck does is synchro a lot. So without master, with master F rule four in play, it's hard to synchro. So without, that's pretty much the main core of the deck. The most important card in the deck, though, is your starter card. Your starter card is Draco Net. This is a Cybers monster. When you normal summon it, you can spell summon level two or lower normal monster from your hand or deck in defense position. This is your best card uh, to start with because this was gonna allow us to make arrows, and I will show you guys in an extra deck how this makes arrows. But it make it's a one card make three arrows, so one card link three. That's the most important card in the deck. So next up we have the vanilla. You summon off of it. We use Guard Dragon Justicia. We play this one over Galaxy because it has a fat booty. Uh, no other reason. You can play Galaxy, honestly, if you want to, but I just prefer this one. So, yeah, there's that. There's the Draco Net lineup, and also with the Draco Net lineup, you have to play one more Chalice Monster for Ib, and we're playing Guard Dragon, and this helps you extend your plays a little bit more. Also has a hand effect, but never really comes up, but you have to play that whole four-card package, uh, five-card package for that. 
And the last random card we're playing is a Dotscaper. I'm playing Dotscaper because I play three Signet Minings to try to open with my Draco Net opening. So I just want another target in my deck if I already have Draco Net. And Dotscaper is really good with uh, synchroing and stuff. So we just play one of those. Uh, next up, the most important card I think that we're trying to draw. We're trying to draw a level one extender in the combo. And in the combo, we draw a lot of cards. So we're trying to hit either this or an extender spell. So this card basically, if you don't know what it is, you special when you have a face-up tuner on the field and all face-up warriors uh, you control gain 300 attack. So basically, the main point of this card is, as you guys can see, you guys can be killing this monster. It's a really old card uh, from Duelist Pack. Uh, it's really good for synchro dot decks, and this is the one best one you can play it in because we can play rekindling in this guy. So really good card. Next up, we have you guys know it. We're playing a extender dot deck, so the best extenders. We got two Nessie, two Snake, and two Jackalope. We're playing these because they're semi limited. It helps. These are basically six upstarts in my deck. Um, helps me extend more monsters onto the board. Helps me dig through my deck to draw rekindling. Um, yeah, these cards are important. You need to play them in a combo oriented deck. And the last monster we play in the deck is Wondestrudo, the Lost Dragon's Frizen. Uh, this card helps you synchro, helps you extend into extra uh, link monsters, so like Saryuja or whatever else you need. So amazing card. So that rounds out the monsters. Uh, next up, we have the most important card in the deck, which is why we're playing the deck, period, is 3 Rekindling. This is off the ban list now. It's officially at 3. So this special summons as many 200 defense monsters. A fire type from your graveyard to the field and if you do not use them that turn they do get banished but in the end phase we never really get to that part we're either linking them off synchroing them off or we kill them that turn with an attack if we go second so this card's amazing rekindling at three is the uh, like only reason you're playing this kind of version of this deck uh, next card we have is three molten conduction field this card sends to Laval so this is how you thin out your deck by five cards you send the uh, Laval Cannoneer, Handmaiden, and then this after this resolves, Handmaiden will trigger because you have another Laval in the grave, and it'll send another Handmaiden. That Handmaiden will trigger again, and then you send another Handmaiden, and then the Handmaiden sends another Laval Cannoneer. Or if they have a backer, you can send a Lakeside Lady. But we're generally trying to send the two level fours and the three level one tuners. This card you're trying to open so that way you can thin out your deck. Um, next thing is up, we have three Rotas, sign up Minings. This is for the Draco Net. And or searching the uh, the level one guy, Dotscaper. That's the other option that gives me just in case I already have Draco Net. It gives me a level one non tuner to help make Formless Synchron to help make uh, Quasar. Amazing card. Uh, next up we have lots of extenders. So we got Monster Reborn. Obvious. I don't even have to explain these cards. One for one. This is another Boost Warrior. A Dotscaper uh, helps me extend as well. Foolish Burial to either get the Strudo, Handmaiden, if I already don't have the Molten. Um, I can send Dotscaper off of this. I can send the World Legacy Dog after this. Just whatever I'm trying to do. This will thin out my deck. Worst case scenario makes my dangers better. Um, card Destruction. This is the help day for rekindling when my hands are brick. Because there's so many bricks in here. If you don't draw Molten, then if you draw this, you can help dig into your rekindlings. And, of course, the World Legacy Guard Dragon to search off of Ib. Uh, this can be searched off of Ib as well if you drew it, but this is also just a monster born for a point. And since we're playing a combo deck, we're playing three call by the grave. So that way we ensure our combo goes off. Um, main deck's 40 cards. Um, broke, broken, honestly, like 40 cards, this deck is all extenders. So in my playtesting with this deck, I've just made a bunch of crazy plays. Um, but yeah, let's get into the extra deck. Uh, extra decks next. We have one formless sync run, level two tuner draw card. Uh, back in the day, man, when you saw two of these come out when you had a librarian, you were drawing so many cards. Um, there's that. Here's the new extender card. If the world chalice, just the shard or just the shard. This card is very important opener. Uh, this is thinning out your deck. It's also helping you get your three link arrows that are very important. Like I said, uh, Laval dual slasher. I'm playing this one because it's a rekindlable target, so I can link it off. Worst case scenario, and still rekindling this card back. Amazing. Um, just that's the only reason you play Dual Slasher. Um, the Librarian. We all know why that card is busted. You draw a card every time you Secret Summon. So this and this draw two. It's pretty nuts. 
Uh, next up, we have Stardust Charge Warrior. So this combined with Librarian, there's some hands where you might have a funny hand, like a Danger, and then a level 3 tuner. Or you could have like a level 2 tuner, the, the Justishar, and a Laval Cannoneer. You can make this and draw 2 under Librarian. Um, very very good card. Helps you dig for a kindling still, basically. Um, Laval, we got the Dawn Dragster for Negate. The only level 7 I play. Uh, it's, ver it's pretty good. You're just making it just in case. Like, you don't really make it. Honestly, I think I'm thinking I'm not mad when I lose a die roll and I go second because I can OTK them with Quasar a lot easier than I can um, uh, deal with their uh, going first. Because going first, I can have like a... It depends on how many rekindlings and extenders you draw, but you can have up to two, three, four negates if you draw enough rekindlings. Um, we got Borlo Savage Dragon for another negate. And the most important part of the deck, Shooting Quasar Dragon. If you guys don't know what this does, every time you make this card... You gotta win. <laughs> it negates a card once per turn, and also it can attack twice. So 4,000, 4,000. Uh, that's our win condition of the deck. Uh, amazing card. These are the synchros in the deck. This is all we're playing. Uh, next things up, we have the links. We got Link Karibo for level 1. This helps us make Saryuja when we have too many uh, Laval Handmaidens. Um, we got the Psy, Frame Lord Lambda. Of course, Generic Good Link 2. Uh, Hita. Hopefully they ash you, and then you can make a really easy link three. And if they ash you, then you can make the link three by summoning their ash, and then start continuing combos from there. He is very broken in this deck. We have a lot of fires. Uh, this is the most important card. I know it looks really dumb right now. Traffic goes. So this is the one card uh, Draco net into traffic goes, and I'll show you guys that combo. Just one Draco net will make the three link arrows for you. The traffic goes. Uh, next up, we have Black Cluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos helps you OTK. Uh, cool, fun plays with this is you can have Boost Warrior and boost this thing up to 33. <laughs> pretty pretty nice. Um, next up, we have Appaloosa Bow, the Goddess. Uh, with Dangers, you can also make all kinds of crazy plays without Draco Net and make this instead of Draco, uh, the Traffic Ghost, and then you can have Negates before you can uh, go into your other Rekindling play and make Quasar and Synchros and stuff. So, depending on your hands, Appaloosa can be really insane with it if you draw Dangers and, like, the Molten Conduction Field and stuff. And the last card is Saryuja, because we're trying to dig, dig, dig for extra Rekindlings. The more Rekindlings you draw, the, the bigger our board and the bigger Negates that we can have. Um, so that's the extra deck for you guys right there. I'll move that over. All right, for side deck, this is just generic right now. You don't have to make this one generically right now for, like, wherever you're playing. But this is what I just found the... Uh, Put together, we have the three gammas and the driver. Of course, uh, one of the best hand traps versus combo decks. Pretty much will end their turn. Um, plus, we can search this with lambda, uh, which is nice. Um, we have two panker tops um, going seconds. Good helps you OTK. Helps you pop problematic cards. Same with twin twister. Uh, same with evenly matched. And the god card for us is Red Reboot, because we can OTK them pretty easy with 3 Rekindling, not too hard. So if we draw this and our Rekindling plays, they're probably going to die. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go ahead and go off to the combo part of the uh, deck, and that part's coming up next, guys. What up YouTube, Asian Persuasion here, and I'm back with this part of the video, which is the combo video. Basically, it's a three-card combo, but into the combo, to make Quasar, you have to draw this. So, for my instance, it's basically a three-card combo, but I'm going to just have this in my hand, so that way I can successfully summon the shooting Quasar, showing you guys how to do it, without actually having to rip into it. Um, so, basically, first part of the combo, you got to activate Molten Conduction Field. So activate mold conduction field. It's gonna send this guy and this guy. So you can send handmaiden and hand uh, the Laval cannoneer. This guy's effects gonna trigger because she has another guy with a different name. It's gonna send the handmaiden. It's gonna trigger again. It's gonna send the handmaiden. It's gonna trigger again. And it's gonna summon or uh, send cannoneer. So now you just thin out your deck by five cards. So that's like the ideal uh, molten conduction field. You don't want uh, anything else from it. That's basically the one copy that all I need to do. So next thing up, you're going to normal summon Drake on it, and I always summon it on the furthest point um, either side. Assuming there's no interruptions, this is what's going to happen. So for the combo video, I'm just going to pretend no interruption is going to happen. So we're going to summon Justicia, uh, level 2 Synchro, into Ib. 
and now that Ib is summoned, it activates effect to summon a uh, or search a World Chalice card. We're gonna search World Chalice, uh, World Legacy Guard Dragon. So Guard Dragon uh, will now a I'll activate this and special summon a dragon from my grave. And there's a dragon tuner, so special summon. And I usually put it in the other corner as well. Uh, and then we're gonna link summon. Link summon these two into Psy Frame Lord Lambda. So Lambda is summoned, and this will trigger Ib because it was sent to the graveyard. Activate its effect. It will also summon this to the field. A Royal Legacy Guard Dragon because it was sent to the grave. Uh, synchro summoned. So now we have three monsters. Link 2 link, uh, plus a regular monster. That is a one card Traffic Ghost. So basically the goal of Traffic Ghost is to make it because it's the only Link 3 that generically you can make and it points three down. So that's pretty amazing and we need that for our Laval combo. So now after we made that we activate Rekindling. Rekindling says special summon as many level, uh, or it doesn't matter level, uh, any 500 or 200 uh, defense and fire typing to the field. So what I do is it's very important to summon it in this way. I put a, you have to put a hang, uh, handmade in here. These can intertwine, but you want a level 4 and a level 1 tuner there. Then you put the level 1 tuner in the corner, and then you can summon these two anywhere else so you have this board right there so that's five monsters that's one rekindling it summoned all those monsters uh the next thing that you gotta do i'm gonna move this over a little bit so that way i'm more on camera there we go all right so next thing you do first thing is your first synchro summon master rule four made this very hard but we make a librarian in the furthest corner along with this world legacy guard dragon in the corner so this is that. So now, next thing you do is, now that you have your level 1 tuner, uh, assuming you can draw it, but worst case scenario, if you didn't have that first, you would get one extra free draw. So we're going to just assume we don't have it yet, and we're going to synchro summon a level uh, that, level 5. So Laval Dual Slasher. So basically, uh, you get one free card. I'm just going to pretend it's blank. I don't care what it is. It doesn't matter. Hoping that you're trying to either draw this or an extender like a danger to keep going. But assuming we drew this, we already had it. Special summon. Because you have a face-up tuner, you can just special summon this in face-up defense position from your hand. So now look, you got two. You got level 1 tuner, level 1 non-tuner. You got one more arrow in the traffic ghost. So activate, activate. Chain link 1, chain link 2. So that way you can draw 2. You got two more blank cards. You got three cards. So you have three additional cards to your combo, plus one or two in your extra opening for your regular hand. So this can either go super far, depending on how many rekillings you draw. So this right here, that's how you make Quasars. You have to have a tuner synchro and non-tuner uh, synchro monster to make this level 12. So we make Quasar. So cool thing about the World Legacy Guard Dragon is you can move a dragon type monster you control to another main monster zone. So after you make this here, you can go ahead and just go ahead and move this over like all the way to the opposite corner so you still have three arrows. And then you, if you drew another rekindling, which would be insane, uh, just generically, you could just make more negates. So you could just make either a Dawn Dragster or a Bordeaux Savage Dragon. You can make Appaloosa. Like, depending on how many more you draw, you can keep making more negates. But in this combo, we're just going to show you how you generically make Quasar and go for game from there. And that's how you usually make Quasar. Alright, all right. so that's going to wrap up my Laval deck profile, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think of uh, Rekindling back at 3. Um, one of my favorite cards of all time, especially summoning a bunch of monsters for free, is crazy. Wish a mess rule 4 wasn't such a hinder on shooting Quasar Dragon, but you guys know how it is, so... Let me know what you guys think below, what you guys would chain below. Uh, make sure you guys comment. Make sure to smash that thumbs up. If you guys want to see more deck profiles like this, let me know down below. Also, make sure to also go back down there and click out the TCG link. If you guys get anything from that link from TCGplayer.com, it would greatly help me out. Help support the channel. Help make more videos and content like this for you guys. I appreciate all the support, you guys. And we're signing out. Peace.